Integrated healthcare, well, it's a, it's a fancy word, isn't it? We have life expectancy that's increased. Uh, the number of 85-year-olds will double, the number of 100-year-olds will treble in the next generation. And that's a great success story for the NHS, particularly. Integrated care for patients means that their care will be joined up. It means that when they show up to see a doctor, the doctor will know all about them. Patients won't have to think about, do I need to remind my doctor of this? Do I need to take that? Do I need to go to the nurse beforehand? We'll help deliver it in a way that'll be convenient. We'll help deliver it in a way that will be accessible. All they need to do is look at their phone or go on their computer and they'll be able to understand what they need to do to get the best possible care. The theory of integrated care is, well, can we join this care together? And all these multitude of providers, multitude of carers, can we work together uh, based on one single version of the truth and, and treat people on a, I hate to use fancy words, but anticipatory basis as opposed to a reactive basis. That's what integrated care is, and that's what's really important. And with the multitude of conditions and the multitude of stakeholders, if they're not joined up, it's a recipe for disaster. One of the most frustrating things about being a doctor is trying to find the right notes for the patient when you need them. Searching through files, trying to understand handwriting, trying to find out what types of medicine they're on so that you can deliver safe and effective care is annoying. It would be so much better if we're able to use technology so that we can see the information about the patient that's in front of us and tell them what the best thing for them to do there and then is to help them get better quicker.